That early morning chase ended here with a crash. Speeds at some points up to 70 miles per hour during rush hour. It was all caught on video. He crashed out. He's not parole. He's going to do whatever he can to get away. Um, obviously, you know, putting everybody in jeopardy. A parolee from the Flint area for armed robbery trying to run from police Monday morning. Now we know why. Genesee County officials tell Fox 2 the man behind the wheel is likely linked to a very recent homicide there. Basically. I'm going to loosen up this cuff for you. He had a ski mask along with the handgun, and then on top of the fact that he's got priors for armed robbery. Maybe coincidence, maybe not, but very suspicious. Around 6 a.m., weaving in and out of traffic near 15 Mile Road in Shaner, he loses control. Crash out, crash out. He crashed out. Guns drawn. Officers are able to get him cuffed quickly, then notice through an open door. On the door was open, they could see in the glove box. Uh, that there was a loaded handgun sitting there. A ski mask, credit cards that weren't his, and a cell phone belonging to the victim of that Flint area homicide. Officials say it could actually be the victim's plateless Ford Fusion he was driving. Sterling Heights police didn't know anything of the connection to the murder before police pulled him over. And we want to keep our, the public safe. That's, that's an obligation, number one responsibility we have. And the secretary is kept catching the bad guys. Charges in the Sterling Heights case coming Tuesday. The homicide is still under investigation. Reporting in Sterling Heights, Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News.